Hi, I'm Andrew from Revo.com and in this short tutorial I will show you how to add motion blurred people directly into your scene in Cinema 4D using a Corona render. Blurred people are often used in Arhvis since they add life and dynamics into the scene and do not drag too much attention which should be dedicated to space itself. There are several ways how to add people into renders. The most common is to add people in post process using a photo editing software. This is efficient when you need to save some computational time, but you will spend more time in post-production then. In this tutorial, we will place a model of the human into the scene and create a simple animation to capture motion blur directly. This approach ensures that the people also affect the shadows and the reflections in the scene, which can be important when you try to achieve realistic look. Let's start with a simple office interior. In the beginning, we will add the path for our model. Select the spline tool and place the curve serving as the path for our model's motion. Then add the 3D model of the human you want to display in the scene and place it anywhere in the scene. Assign Cinematech called Align to the Spline to the model of the human. Select the spline path defined by our curve and check the tangential option. This will ensure that the model's rotation will follow the spline. You can control the relative position of the model on the spline by this parameter. All we have to do now is to animate the relative position of the model on the spline. Select the first frame on the timeline and set the position to zero. Then hit the recording icon next to the relative position. Select the 25th frame, set the relative position on the spline to 100% and lock this change by clicking the recording button again. Now we have simple animation of the movement. The whole animation is controlled by the spline and its position in the scene. So you can move it wherever you like or adjust the spline as you need. And since the position on the spline is relative, the animation will also change itself. The motion blur is affected by camera's shutter speed and by the speed of the motion itself. So it is good to give your model realistic velocity. The average speed of the walk is approximately one meter per second. So adjust the length of your spline to approximately one meter. Select the frame in an interval between 0 and 25 and place the spline with the model to desired position. Now we will enable the motion blur in Corona. Go to the render settings, Corona, then camera and post processing and check enable camera and enable object under the motion blur settings. The last thing to do is to play with the camera's shutter speed. Higher values of shutter speed mean less motion blur effect. We need just a slight blur for this scene so 1 15 of the second will be sufficient. You can adjust the shutter speed according to your preferences to achieve the most desirable look. So let's render the image. This is the final image. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in another one.